To begin our landscape watercolor, let's first draw out a simple landscape on plain copy paper. You may use my drawings as an example to look at, but not to trace, or you can create your own simple landscape. You may set your paper either vertical or horizontal. Here are my examples of rolling hills, trees in a forest, a beach, a city, and a simplified version of Hakusai's The Great Wave. All of these include a foreground, middle ground, and background. Once you've made a drawing of your landscape with pencil, show it to the teacher for approval and get your Batiko paper and wax paper. Write your name very small in one corner of the Batiko paper. You will be giving the wax paper back when you're done with it, so don't write your name on that one. Stack your three papers together in this way. Batiko paper on bottom, wax paper in middle, and landscape drawing on top. On a solid surface, such as the table, trace all of your lines. You can trace over your lines a few times to give a multi-line effect. You can even use the eraser end of your pencil to make lines thick. Be sure to apply good pressure. When all of your lines are traced, separate the papers. It may look like nothing happened. If you hold the Patiko paper up to the light, you might be able to see the ghost lines. If you're currently not one of my students in my classroom, you don't necessarily have to have Patiko paper to do this project. You can still make something like this by putting your landscape drawing on the bottom uh, under a piece of watercolor paper. Trace the lines onto the watercolor paper using a white crayon or oil pastel. In the next video, we'll talk about watercolor.